Piano Technique Playing Staccato The main secret to a good staccato is a flexible wrist. Many beginner students, when they first attempt staccato, will lock their wrist solid and use their whole forearm to produce the required effect. Compare these two examples. In the first, notice how the finger is already in position, in contact with the key, before the staccato action starts. Then, you saw the wrist flex as the finger presses the key, and then the finger springs off the key, much like jumping off a diving board. Watch it again in slow motion. In the second example, the wrist stayed solid as the finger falls onto the key and the whole forearm was pulled away from the key. This incorrect technique will only produce tension, make a fast staccato more difficult and less accurate. Watch again this slow motion version of the incorrect staccato. Another point to remember is to try to keep your fingers close to the keys. Don't let them bounce too high. A good exercise for this might be to try practicing a staccato scale pianissimo at first, then gradually crescendo without letting the height increase too much. Like this. Notice that the increase in volume was achieved mainly by an increase in wrist flexibility. But the forearm stayed pretty much the same throughout. Watch it one more time in slow motion. Try for yourself this technique. Even playing staccato scales hands together with your eyes closed. This will encourage you not to stray too far away from the keys. The same technique is true for light delicate notes as well as for big chords like this. I hope you found this video useful and if so please give it a like. Thank you for listening.